Oscillating saw is a wonderful thing. Side's cut, this side's cut, and let's see. Boom! Voila! This section's off. This is by far the toughest piece to come out because of this epoxy. There's my lake. Not very long. The end. In less than an hour, about half of it done, and uh, got some fresh batteries. We're going after that bad boy today. All off. Maybe some useful styrofoam there. There's that. Okay. Yeah, let's sit here. Goodbye, big mountain. There we go. I have to clean all that up. Yeah, I guess you could see that not being in a controlled environment looks like I got some mud daubers here that somehow got up into the track all the way up into underneath here built a built a nest there that's nice good chunk of it is gone so we're gonna start uh, cleaning this mess up salvaging as much stuff as I can salvage and uh, pack it away for right now this is what I'm down to plastic containers full of waste I thought I was gonna be able to salvage these rocks and I think it's just gonna be way too much work to break those rocks out I did it for some of them and uh, like in here you could break the rock out but to get to get it out and cleaned up and usable again it probably just as easy by the time I spend that kind of time cleaning that rock up I can make a new one and I color them at the right time. So these are my two junk boxes out. Uh, I do have some uh, foam that I'm going to hang on to. You never know when you're going to need some of that. And I got one big garbage bag full of paper wads and some foam. Use.
usable foam, two other garbage bags full of paper, and the uh, track is cleared. <clears throat> I'm gonna get another garbage bag and I'll put this foam in there. You never know when you're gonna need foam. That's, she's back down. She's back down to the basics now. Here she is all the way down. Now, I've vacuumed everything up. The track is perfectly clean. There's nothing on the track. There's no gravel, grit, no nothing. It's been vacuumed very thoroughly. <clears throat> Used my uh, track eraser. Used the track eraser. Went around it with that. Then I cleaned it with mineral spirits and then I vacuumed it again. So this track is about as perfect as you can get it right now. The only difference is, is I made no other changes to it. So we're gonna try it out and I'm gonna watch these areas here and find out what the problem is before I start taking this track apart. If I can isolate where some of the problems are, then I'll identify those before I take it apart. Here we go. Okay, this train here, on speed level 14 it'll run like this all day and not a problem around this track in a clockwise fashion but if I turn that up to 18 it it will let's see what it does oh just stops right there for some reason and all I did was turn it to 18 14 was fine 18 is not fine Let's see where else it stops. I'll break this video up and get just the stops. There, it went to hesitate there. <clears throat> Going across that crossing. There, come on up that hill. That's a stopping point for some reason. That could be a train itself probably. same spot again let's see what it does there it is Boom. sometimes it does and sometimes it don't there it goes there Yeah, that's enough of that. We're gonna go the other way. There's that big dip over there, you can see it. See, now it's gonna redo a whole redo start for some reason. That's what it was doing to me up in that tunnel, I couldn't figure it out. The inside of that train here. Watch this dip. Mm. Something over there. Okay, you got the VNSF out. The speed on this thing is terrible. That is half speed. That's at 14. 14 to 28. Look at this thing. Okay, this train tends to uh, tolerate this track just fine. Even at speed, it does fine in that direction. Okay, the problem child. Let's go ahead and light her up to about a, it don't matter. 
We'll do a 10. And this thing, we can go around this course. Now I can see it. There it is, and boom. Yeah, I can sit there and da -da 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 every time. There ain't no need in doing that clockwise thing. I just be beat myself against the wall here. It's gonna derail there every time it comes around that corner to right there. And I don't know why. This direction has that big dick over there. I'm gonna show you that one. And it, uh, the crossing this way was fine. Just fine there. <clears throat> but it wouldn't cross here or here. Let's see what it does. Probably no change. So you can go in here and push your trains along a little bit. Actually, it made it past this one, which was surprising. Here we go again. Let's see what happens. Let's see if she does well. Every time. Boom, boom. Uh, 13 now. Let's see what she does across this crossing. If anything takes it across, it'd be inertia. Yeah. So, buy $200 worth of gizmos to put in your train to get past that spot. Next. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna attribute this guy's issue is just needing need a good cleaning or something because you know I've been running the tar out of the thing because it's been my most reliable train. But uh, everything below 12, this thing works in all directions. This thing here works in every direction, whatever. It's just slow for some reason. This thing will not run clockwise. I showed you over there. It showed you the one time, but it does that every time. It will not cross that crossing coming up that incline. And then reverse, it just shuts off here and here, 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 here. So you get the idea. Nah, I don't see anything else in this track that I need to mess with, so I think I'm going to take it apart. <clears throat> okay. Same process hot soapy water and wet her down of course I don't have to be that picky now just wet her down well wet her down then I'll once I get her loosened up after about 20 minutes of soaking or so I'll show you So, I got some more wires going here. 
and that's how she works. Loosens her up. You pull the whole thing off, you got your risers left. You just had to cut down through here, and here, and here, and here. Okay, by far the hardest is to get the track up. Soak it hard, soak it hot, soak it soapy, and let it just take the old uh, um, plaster cloth, and once it loosens it up, just peel the plaster cloth up, and it'll come up. It'll come up all the way. It makes a big mess, especially with all this uh, stuff sitting around here, but it's time to clean it up now.